former Homeland Security Secretary Michael Chertoff and retired Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs James Cartwright recently noted in Politico that rejecting or even delaying the transition would be a gift to those governments threatened by a free and open internet. The Global Commission on Internet Governance, a group of leading experts from around the world, echoed this message by recently calling on the U.S. government to adopt the transition proposal and meet the September 2016 target date for the transition of the IANA function stewardship. Failure to do so, the Commission said, would send the wrong message to the international community, increase distrust, and will likely encourage some governments to pursue their own national or even regional internets. Over the past two years, the global internet community, comprised of businesses, technical experts, public interest groups, and governments, has engaged in one of the most compelling demonstrations of a multi-stakeholder process ever undertaken. The transition plan is a thoughtful proposal that was developed through consensus over two years by hundreds of stakeholders around the world. Stakeholders spent more than 26,000 working hours on the proposal, exchanged more than 33,000 messages on mailing lists, held more than 600 meetings and calls, and incurred millions of dollars of legal fees. Given the intensive level of effort that went into constructing the transition plan and obtaining support for it from all parts of the ICANN community, it is no surprise that the community supports the transition and wants to see the United States follow through on its longstanding bipartisan commitment to privatize the domain name system. Now, I realize that the transition raises many important questions. And the most important ones are the ones we asked in March of 2014 when we laid out the criteria for the transition. We said, that we said then that the plan must support and enhance the multi-stakeholder model of internet governance, maintain the security, stability, and resiliency of the internet DNS, meet the needs and expectations of the global customers and partners of the IANA services, and maintain the openness of the internet. And in addition, we said we would not accept a plan that replaced NTIA's role with a government-led or intergovernmental organization solution. Upon the community's completion of the plan in March, NTIA led an intensive interagency review to ensure the plan met these criteria. And on June 9th, we found that the plan satisfied each and every one of our criteria. We also evaluated the proposal against relevant internal control principles as recommended by the U.S. Government Accountability Office. We separately engaged a panel of corporate governance experts to review the accountability proposal. And these experts concluded that the proposal is consistent with sound principles of good governance.